There's another one! Look out! <laughs> Darn sand vultures! I think this is as far as I want to go! It's too dangerous hereabouts! But what about the lost city? And the human child you saw? Well, I was being chased by dingoes when I saw the kid. Maybe I imagined it. As far as I'm concerned, that lost city's imaginary, too. How about you, JB? You had enough exploring? No. We've come too far to quit now. No human's ever gone this deep into the Badlands. Unless the child Zeke thinks he saw is real. All the more reason to go on. If we can find the child, we should take him back to civilization. Well, if you ask me, this whole thing is a waste of time. <laughs> Who ever heard of a wild child? <sighs> what now? Yeah, yeah, what now? <sighs> Shut up, folks! Sorry for the trouble. Let's attack now. <sighs> Not yet. <sighs> Wait till the sun's in their eyes. <laughs> yeah, that way they'll never know what hit them. <laughs> the right idea. I wish we were back in Fort Cary. What's the matter, Big Pard? Don't you want to find the lost city? What for? I didn't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Gully, the sun is bright. <laughs> Yahoo! Time to raise a ruckus! <laughs> will have a record of his palm print? It will if he was born in this galaxy. <laughs> As baby subject wandered into desert, parents searched everywhere for months. Finally left New Texas destination unknown. That not me, machine lies. Me want my dingoes. Dingoes? Those no good tramps. They might be bad guys to everybody else. It looks like they've been good to the boy. Huh. They dumped him when he hurt his foot, didn't they? Well, 3030, that's the Dingo's way. Everybody looks out for himself, family or not. Well, son, we're going to help you find your Dingo's. Help find? Wild child need no help. Dingo's my family. I find. And then I'm going to take you all back to town and find out why you were shooting at us. Dingo's free, like... Wind, not go 
wrong with you? We'll see about that. They're leaving a clear trail. We'll need the Optivisor to track them. Let's go. Come on, son. Climb aboard. Me not go with you. Me riding with you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Ruckus, here we come. Dingoes use this place to hide out. You'd save us all a lot of trouble if you'd tell me where. Never. You want dingoes, you find. Well, pard, I think you'd better go to fighting mode. <laughs> it's about time! Now I'm gonna get me some bad guys! Pals lighting out. Won't you stay with us for now, please? Well, maybe Wild Child stay a little bit longer. Dingo's got him somehow, do you? What is it, wild child? You know something, I can tell. Who is that laughing? Not know, but can smell something strange. Not Dingo, not human, not the horse you call 3030. You can tell a difference between their scents? Me can do all Dingo things. Seems you're not the only one with animal powers. Yes, you're right. I was given mine. Seems he learned his. He's tracking 3030. Maybe that way. But where exactly? Can you show us the way? Mm, maybe. But what happened after I show to me and my friends? What do you say, Judge? Can we make a deal? Not if it means they'll be breaking any laws I can't. Promise. I tell them, no break law. All right, son. Lead the way. My gosh. This place is enormous. <laughs> Whoever he is, I'd like to know what he thinks is so funny. It's your silly faces, human. Mm. <laughs> Same smell. 
he the one who took your friend? Look out! Whoever he is, he's shooting. Not bad, human. You're pretty quick on your feet. <laughs> Speed of the Puma! 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 Where are you? Show yourself! Very fast, too. <laughs> my, my. But then, so am I. See what I mean? What is it? It must be some kind of alien. No, not alien. Now I know. It is Zarko the Hunter. He is last of the old ones. The old ones? You mean the people who built this city? Yes. Wild child, never see him. Just know his smell. Him live alone. Never bother dingoes. Can you follow his smell? <laughs> Over here, human. <laughs> Maybe you need eyeglasses. What do you want? Hey! JB! All right, Zarko. That does it. You know her, good lady! Wild child! Zarko the hunter, huh? What do you hunt? Children? I was not threatening him. Why did he attack me? He hardly knows this woman, yet he risked his life for her. She was kind to him, that's why. Now, mister, you better tell me who you are and what you've done with my friends. You challenge me, human? <laughs> you are very brave. Oh, very foolish. You got it wrong, partner. I'm the law. <laughs> I make my own law. I am Zarko, last of my race and mightiest hunter in the cosmos. Looks to me like you hunt people. You and the other adults are fair game. But uh, I meant the boy no harm. How could I? He reminds me of someone I loved very much. Nobody can make his own laws without hurting other people, Zarko. As Marshal of New Texas, I'm placing you under arrest. Let's go. Energy cuffs! <laughs> you dare to think you can arrest me? If you think I can't, you better show me why. My energy rings will show you! <laughs> So you know, Mercy! There's been more than one tough hombre. Tried it and wished he hadn't. You have courage. But for that boy, who is small and weak, it takes even more courage. Uh, I had a son as brave as he is. Had? What happened? He perished, saving my life. Uh, I loved him so much. And I love my friends. I want them back. No more idle talk. It makes me think. I need to hunt, not think. I will give you a chance. When I have rested, I will hunt you. You may try to escape, or you may <laughs> try to hunt me. Zarko! Where are you? Where are my friends? Shaman, can you hear me? Mm, I am here, my son. Have you seen? Do you know? Of course. Am I not Shaman? What am I to do? I don't know if I can defeat this Sarko. He is so strong. Yet I must fight to save my friends. Mm, you say you must fight. 
Must fighting be the answer? But how else can I save them? Hmm. You must teach Sarko that there is a better way. The way of love. Love? I don't understand, Shaman. You will see. You will understand. Violence is weak. Love is strong. Love? Blowing... Oh, the good lady! <laughs> what happened to her? If we find Sarko, we can try to free her and my friend 3030. Will you help me? Wild child, help! Come. Find him. Sarko, there. Ears of the wolf! The wolf! The wolf! The wolf! <laughs> Stay here. I don't want you getting hurt again. Uh, back again, human? I came for my friends. I will not attack you, Zarko. Then you lose! Where, my good lady? You set her free! No! Stay away, it's too dangerous! We must save the child! I don't understand! Or you must teach Zarko the way of love. Choose, Zarko. Use your violence on me, or let the love you had for your son save this boy. To the switch! Turn it off! I am glad you are safe, boy. Oh, but what am I saying? You... you have softened my heart. I am no longer Zarko the Hunter. Just... Zarko the Man. You are a brave man to face me without fear. I must seem like a fool to you. Not at all. But if your heart is really softened, set my friends free. <laughs> Good lady! <laughs> okay, mister, you and me are gonna have a little chat. Hang on, big part. We've got a couple of things to settle, Zarko. Either I can arrest you for taking my friends captive and take you to Fort Carrium. Or I have a cell ready and waiting for Zarko the Hunter. Or Zarko the Man can let love into his heart and make a home for a boy who needs a friend. Maybe. Even a father? I would like that, if the boy will forgive me for hurting him. Dingo mm. mm. people take good care of wild child, but, but they bad to others. I would like to have a friend who is good. <laughs> now, what in tarnation made you think of doing that? Oh, just something the shaman said. Love might seem weak, but love's the strongest thing of all. Guess this just wasn't our day to put people in jail. I wish we could end them off this way. You know, partners, today my friend the shaman reminded me of something very important. Mm, you say you must fight. Why must fighting be the answer? But how else can I save them? You must teach Zarko that there is a better way. The way of love. Love is the best way to solve problems. Love includes respecting a person enough to talk to them and listen to their side. Talking and listening. Always better than fighting. Be talking to you soon. Mighty hot, big partner. Want to stop and rest a bit? No, let's get on home. I can almost taste that sweet water and handlebars. Sounds good. And I'm buying. Of course you are. Horses don't carry money. Come on, dog. 
Fred, dance! Come on, everybody, dance! Listen. Oh, it's too hot to listen. Sounds like laser blasts and close. Eyes of the hawk. The hawk. <laughs> Looks like some dingo men have cornered someone. <laughs> well, let's go stomp them. There's no time. Find yourself some shade while I take care of it. Mm, you always get all the fun. Speed of the Puma! Puma! This is getting boring. Now it's time to take care of you desert rats. Be better off without you creeps. Oh, no, you don't. Sweet dreams, partner. Now you're getting me steamed, desert scum. I'm Marshal Bravestar. Glad I could help. Parker's the name, and I don't remember asking for your help. You mean you wanted to fight them alone? I did. They were just practice. Practice? For what? Main event. I'm going after Tex Hex. I see. You know, taking the law into your own hands is both dangerous and illegal. Well, it works better than your puny laws. Listen to me, Borka. The law might be slow at times, but it works. And the more you respect it, the better it works. <laughs> You'd make a better preacher than a lawman. All talk, no action. I'm warning you, Borka. No vigilante stuff around here. You understand? You and everyone else wants to get rid of Tex Hex. Well, I'm only asking you to look the other way while I take care of him. You break any laws and I'll arrest you. Got that? Yeah, sure, Marshal, sure. Now you listen to me, folks, and you listen well, cause I'll say it once more. I say that the time has come to get rid of Tex Hex and his rotten crew. Uh, I don't know, Borka. We got a marshal who's done pretty well so far, keeping us safe. Yeah, he kept Tex Hex from taking over our town. But what's Brave Star done about getting rid of Tex Hex for good? You want to sit around and continue to let Tex Hex call the shot? This is for page one. Borka is stirring up the people into taking action against Tex Hex. You want to let Tex Hex keep jabbing at you until you're too tired to fight back? No! You want to give it to him? Yes! Let's get him, Borka. You can count me in. Sweet water for everyone. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Borka. Yeah. Hooray for Borka! Something bothering you, Marshal? Your story on Borka bothers me, McBride. You make him sound like a hero. He's stirring up the town so much that folks are liable to go and do something foolish. Well, I don't like his vigilante stuff any more than you do, but Borka is news, and I print the news. Yeah, bad news. Gross, you wave style. What is it, Fuzz? <laughs> Mr. Borka has the whole army outside. Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. He wants him to be low. Could you stop him? Can't. Orca's not breaking any law. Everyone has the right of free speech. And the right to assemble. Oh, can't you do nothing, Swave Style? Nope. The time has come to rid New Texas of Tex Hex and his scummy crew. What about Marshal Brave Star and the law? What's Brave Star gonna do with Tex Hex, huh? Give him 30 days for reckless driving? <laughs> Let's take our weapons and run Tex Hex off the face of New Texas. Are you with me? You're darn right, Marka. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 It's Thunderstick. 
I come in peace, Borka. What do you want? Dex Hex wants to talk, talk. Our guns will do the talking. Dex knows that. He knows you're preparing for battle. He wants to make, make a deal. He's afraid of our firepower. He wants to talk. Just the two, two of you. Any time and any place. Blackrock, in two, two days, at dawn, and no weapons. You got a deal. Folks, we got Tex Hex on the run! <coughs> Marshal, we would like a word with you. Mm, here comes trouble. Afternoon, folks. Hot, ain't it? Good afternoon, Marshal. Yes, it certainly is hot. But not nearly as hot as it will be if you don't do something about Borka. Simmer down, JB. I'm listening. Talk to me. Ooh, Borka's got most of the town's best fighters on his side. And, and they've got a lot of weapons that we need to defend Fort Carrium. Maybe I'll throw Borka in jail. JB, has he broken any laws? No. No, he hasn't. Should I stop him by taking the law into my own hands? No, of course not. Then you'd be as bad as Borka. Then there isn't much I can do, is there? What are you going to do if Borka decides to march against Tex Hex? Nothing. Nothing? You heard it, Marshal. Nothing. I mean, he said nothing. I didn't mean you said nothing. I meant you said nothing. Oh, no, Fuzzy, I'll mix it up. I understand. Thanks, Fuzz. Seen Borka? <laughs> Howdy, Marshal. Pull up a chair and have some sweet water. I want to talk to you, Borka. What's on your mind, Brave Star? You going to Black Rock to meet Tex? Yep. You'll be walking into a trap. Yep, but we'll be prepared. We? I thought you were going alone. Just you and Tex Hex, unarmed. No way. Folks around here are fed up with Tex Hex and his gang. We're gonna get rid of them once and for all. You can't do that. There are laws to take care of criminals like Tex Hex. Your puny laws don't work on dirt like Tex Hex. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to do your job. Nothing or nobody. Will, if Brave Star's not afraid of Borka, why doesn't he stop him? Because Borka not break any law. Well, if he can't beat him, then he should join him. What that means? Right. That means Brave Star should be helping Borka get Tex X in his game. Mouse should say his job to defend folk carrier and the people. You want to know the best way to solve this problem? Oh. Hmm. Find Tex Hex and. No, big partner. Shooting hardly ever solves a problem, it usually makes it worse. See what I mean? Oh, boy. There go some of our best defenders. And most of our weapons. I wish there was something we could do. Borka may be right. He may get rid of Tech 6 once and for all. Yeah, he might. But that wouldn't make it right. I have this feeling something terrible is going to happen. Now, don't worry, Miss JB. Fuzz protects you. Oh, thank you, Fuzz. Borka is not only leading the people into a trap, but without many of its defenders and weapons, Fort Carrium is open to attack. Those problems you can solve without me. Why are you here, my son? It's Borka. I can't stop him. He hasn't broken any law. Why do you want to stop him? You want Tex Hex to be brought to justice. Yes, but this is not justice. What Borka is doing might not be illegal, but it's wrong. And why is it wrong? It is wrong for one person to be judge, jury, and executioner. Mm. Part of us all feel like Borka. We want to get rid of evil fast, but civilized people fight evil with laws and with order. 
I know I must protect my people, but they're following Borka into trouble. Shaman, do I stop Borka or let him take on Tex Hex? You must do your job according to the law. You must trust your people to do the right thing. You are the protector of their laws, but it's their hearts that hold the answers to questions of right and wrong. You do right. Others will follow. Well, there it is. Black Rock. And there's Tex Hex. Can be sure that he isn't alone. His gang is waiting to ambush us. What are we going to do, Borka? You have your weapons ready and shoot at anything that moves. Well, well, shouldn't we make sure that they uh, intend to harm us first? No, we'll shoot first and ask them later. <laughs> Maybe Tex won't be at Black Rock. Let's find out. Eyes of the Hawk! Hawk. Tex Hex is there, all right. Then let's go stomp him! Hold on. Something's not right. Tex can never be trusted. Let's check the other way, toward Fort Carrium. I'll be doggone. What is it? I just saw Tex Hex on his way to Fort Carrium. But you said the Tex Hex is at Black Rock. Only one is the real Tex. Oh, oh. <sighs> Which one? Tex said he'd be at Black Rock. You know what that means. Oh, yeah. Tex hates telling the truth. Let's head for Fort Carrium. <laughs> for you, little one. Going my way? Stop! Bye-bye, Spyboo. All right, you miserable rat. Let's have our meeting. I'm talking to you, Boneface. Maybe this'll wake you up. What's going on here? It's just sand. We've been tricked. Look out, Borka! It's a trap! I wonder where the real Tex Hex is. Too much fun. <laughs> A sense. Oh. I'm over here, you big tub of cosmic lord. <laughs> well, you. Now you see me? Now you don't. Come on, blubberhead. Catch me if you can. <laughs> if he can't, I will. Brave star. Let me at him. No, my friend. This is my job. It's over. Give up. Never! You never look better, Tex. I can't breathe. Strength of the bear! Take care of 
Tex. I must get to Black Rock. Go ahead. I'll clean up things around here. Get to Black Rock fast. <laughs> Not, not, Borke. Put it down, now. You got me. Looks like trouble. Hmm, nothing we can't handle. Mm, go ahead, open your mouth. Sarah Jane will close it fast. Brave, brave star. Since I was in the neighborhood, I thought I'd drop in. Holy Brave Star, he's mine. What are you gonna do with him? See that he never causes anybody any more trouble. Save me, Brave Brave Star. Listen to me, Borka. Thunderstick is under arrest. Under arrest? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Move out of the way, Brave Star. You might get hurt. No, Borka. If you want Thunderstick, you'll have to take me first. Why? He's garbage. Maybe so, but he's entitled to the protection of the law. As long as I'm wearing this badge, I'll enforce everyone's right to a fair trial, even Thunderstick. Well, I'm not moving. Put it down, Barkey. Yeah, Brave Star's right. Even Thunderstick deserves a fair trial. No. Oh. No, it's taken me a long time to get my plan organized. And it's taken us an even longer time to learn to live by the law. Sometimes we forget and try to take a shortcut with our guns. But even though the law is sometimes slow, it catches up. Guns aren't the answer, Borka. Respecting the law is. All right, Brave Star. Take him in, you win. No, this way we all win. Let's take him in together. Wish we had some more action around here, like at Fort Carrium. Eh? What happened at Fort Carrium? Tex Hex attacked. That's why we were a little late getting here. And all because of me. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Brave Star. I'm sorry. Get the people moving back to Fort Carrium. I'll meet you there. What about him? Lock him up. With pleasure. Hello, Shaman. Welcome. I'm happy that Fort Carrium is safe. Yes, I have learned to trust the goodness in my people's hearts. It is only goodness of the heart and the spirit, my son, that can always overcome evil. Thanks to you, I now know that. In today's story, Borka didn't respect the law, so he broke it and tried to make his own law. But Borka was wrong, because laws aren't just what one person wants. Laws are what a lot of people have decided upon, and they're for the good of everybody. So the next time you think about crossing the street against the light, or maybe taking something from the store without paying for it, don't. Respect the law. It's for your own good, too. Honest. See you next time, partners. such an all-fired rush. Well, we heard that Tex Hex was around, and we wanted to see what he looked like. Tex Hex? Oh, he's bad medicine, boys. He'll eat you alive if he catches you, so stay away from him. Come on, let's get going. Uh, thanks for the advice, Mr. Handlebar. <laughs> eat us alive. <laughs> Not if we join Tex Hex gang, he won't. <laughs> Uh, oh, 
first get tired on long rides. Mmm, tired? <laughs> How you think I feel? Look what I gotta carry. You two only seem happy when you're complaining. Oh, sure, sure. All you have to do is sit back and take it easy. Why don't you try carrying me sometime? Seriously, guys. Keep your eyes open. I hear Scuzz and Thunderstick have been poking around asking about the shaman. And I'd like to know what they're up to. Your trap almost finished! Mmm, plenty deep! Good. Give me a hand with this, this branch, Scuzz. Blast those birds! Shoo! Shoo! Those birds, look. I wonder what scared them off like that. Let's take a look. <laughs> the shaman likes to walk here. When he does, does, we got it. <laughs> hey, you're messing it up! Stop that coffin! Still smoking those old ropes, Scuzz? Yeah, I... <coughs> Rainstar! Yeah! <laughs> As for you, Thunderstick. Ah, uh, hold on, 30-30. I didn't do nothing. I... Uh... Watch it, fur face. Mmm, now that these creeps caught themselves, what are we gonna do with them? Put them in jail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for littering. <laughs> <laughs> you and Fuzz take them into town and lock them up, Big Part. I'm gonna check on Shaman. Brave Star! I hope you are well, Shaman. I am, thanks to you. You know, you ruined tex -Hex plans for my capture, but he will try again. Let him. I'll never let anything happen to you. Hmm, when you were young, I once said the same thing to you. I remember. Him? Benno, uh, are you sure we should do this? You're not afraid, are ya? Well, uh, no! Yes, you are. I'm not! Good. Then we're gonna go through with it. Uh, Mr. Tex Hex? What's this? Blue Beasties that talk? They be alien children from Fort Carrion School. I'm Ben Wu. And I'm Maris Wu. <sighs> so what? So, uh, we, we'd, we'd uh, li li like to join your gang. Join my gang? <laughs> Did you hear that, boys? They want to join my gang. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're sorry, Mr. Uh, uh, Tex, uh, m m m Mr. Hex. Uh, we, we, we just wanted to... Uh... Listen, you little blue freaks. If you're not out of my sight, ten star sex, I'll... Uh, I'll eat you alive! <laughs> 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 what we do about scars and thunderstick, Tex Hex, huh? Those fools? Let them rot in jail. I'm surrounded by idiots. Ouch! Ooh. Blasted rocks! Texa, we have big problem. Shaman never leaves Star Peak. I know that, but wait, Tex. Shaman does leave Star Peak tomorrow. What? 
The school's having a picnic in that park near Star Peak. The kids are gonna give Shaman a present. A present, huh? Now let's see. Come on, we're gonna find those blue-faced kids. The little alien brats. Now oh, come, Tex. Do I have to explain everything, Dust Spring? They want to join our gang, and I'm going to give them a chance. They can start by giving Shaman our present, and he's going to get a real bang out of it. <laughs> Right, class, come to order. Logi, please be seated. Now, let's turn to page 22 in your star physics books. Please, Logi, no eating in class. Thank you. Now, Zimbi, please go to the laser board and write today's lesson. I want to see him catch his head now. Yes, sir. Hey, Dead Tex wants to see you. I'm going to give you two a chance to join my gang. But uh, first, you gotta show me you can take orders. Yes, sir. Tomorrow your school is gonna give the shaman a gift at the picnic. Well, I got a gift for him, too. And I want you to give it to him. Uh, you mean that's all we have to do? That's all. All right. Just, uh, one thing. Don't open the package. I want Shaman to be surprised, not you. Now get going! It's gonna work. I can feel it in my bones. Me too. Me too. Me too! Now, class, stay together. We'll have the picnic now, and the shaman will join us soon. Great star! Mm -hmm. Things should be quiet for a while with those two varmints locked up in a cell. No, me think you like, dirty. Uh oh. You didn't. My new shoes! No, oh, was accident, dirty, honest. <laughs> oh, sorry. Attention, attention, please. Uh, uh, excuse, please, dirty, dirty. B -b 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 buzzing and transmitter. <laughs> Stop, Eek, warning. Shaman has left Star Peak and is now outside the safe area. Hmm, what? It's okay. Shaman go visit children. That's right. But Tex was trying to set a trap for Shaman this morning. Let's take a look. Hey, Star! Well, I hope we're not doing something wrong. Maybe we should look in the package, huh? But Tex said we shouldn't. But we don't want to do anything that would be bad for the shaman. Oh, well, all right, but uh, let's go over there where nobody can see us. As soon as the boys give shaman the box with the sleepy bomb, we'll set it off. <laughs> Master Tex, look! Blast! Those little blue creeps are opening it! Wait! There's the shaman. This is perfect. Get ready, Viper.
Okay, here goes. Now! We're in big trouble now. Stampede's waiting to see you, shaman. Mm, I have nothing to say to Stampede. Help! Help! Those boys in, in danger. Help them. You're the one who's in danger if you don't do what I say. Come on, guys. Take him. Not so fast, you coyotes. Let him go. No chance, Marshal. You can't shoot that without hitting your pal here. Help! Help! The boys! Brave Star, save the boys! <laughs> what are we gonna do? What Shaman says, try to save those boys. Then we're going after Tex. Let's go, Big Pard! Uh -oh. Time for a dip. A dip? Mm, forget it. We'll never make it. Yes, we will. You can do it. Sometimes this job just ain't worth the pay. You did it. Well, of course I did. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna make it. You said that before. This time I mean it. Quick, up in the saddle. Hang on! You go back to town. Tell the doc I want him to check you over. Okay, Marshal. And thanks for getting us out of the water. Well, you both got some explaining to do. But we'll talk about that later. Come on, big part. Let's find the shaman. Try to track Tex on the Opta radar. I've got him. He's on the far side of Star Peak. Must be taking the back trail. That means we can head him off. Okay, but no more dives. Come on, come on! Keep them moving! Stampede's waiting! I wouldn't be in such a hurry, you coyotes. Don't get in my way, Marshal. I'm already in your way, Tex. What do we do, Tex? Hang on to Shaman while we take care of the Marshal. <laughs> you can't stop us all, Brave Star! <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm really, really getting mad. Oh, no. Fire snakes. Why does he always have to use snakes? I hate snakes. Now, don't worry, big part. I think I know how to put that fire out. Cover me. You're covered! Run for it! Speed of the Puma! Puma. 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 
the ravine. That water should cool off Tex and his fire snakes. Hurry up! Those snakes are getting closer! And hotter! Here goes. Strength of the bear! bear! Looks like Tex and his gang need a little help. Mm, yeah, help them get to jail. Little loop on the rocket rope ought to do it. Hey, give me some room. We're trapped. Cut it out! Next time, Brave Star. Next time, you won't be so lucky! Why can't he take us with him? <sighs> Tex is dirty vomit! That'll take care of this surprise package. Are uh, the boys all right? Yes, Shaman. Are you all right? Hmm. I'm fine. Thanks to you two. <clears throat> Shucks. What are friends for? What you boys did was very wrong. Because of you, the shaman was in great danger. Your sentence, therefore, is... Every week you must bring supplies and firewood to the shaman. We have another problem, Judge. The boys are a long way from their home planet. Need a big brother here in Fort Garium. I'll agree to that, if someone volunteers. Well, if it's a big brother you want, you figure I'm big enough? Wow! Double wow! <laughs> Good for you, Handlebar. So ordered. Court dismissed. Good decision, Judge. I think that calls for a lunch recess. How about it? The court agrees, if the marshal buys. You're on. Hmm, you know, Marshal, I just can't figure why Ben Wu and Maris Wu wanted to run around with Texas gang in the first place. I guess they did it because they were hoping to get some excitement from it. But all a person ever gets from crime is jail and having to hang around with people they can't trust. I know, but don't tell me that part. Tell them. I just did. <laughs> he just don't listen to me enough. for the headline. Krang Outlaws Escape. <laughs> now, the story. A renegade crew of Krang Outlaw warriors escaped from a Star Marine prison base on Alpha Centauri yesterday and are reported to be heading for New Texas. Citizens are urged to keep a sharp lookout for any sign of these dangerous... Father, it's after midnight. You should have been in bed hours ago. Oh, you're right, my dear. But this story came over on the newswire, and I lost track of time. I know, Father. Your work means a lot to you, but I promised Mother I'd take care of you. 
And I intend to keep my promise. Well, I wish you wouldn't feel that way, JB. You have your own life. Besides, I can take care of myself. Oh, really? Well, I don't see you doing it. You need your rest. Now go to bed, please. Oh, all right. Uh, just let me start the printer, and I'll be right up. Now make sure you are. I love you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Just like her mother. <sighs> Sweet but stern. <laughs> Well, it's done anyway. Oh, what? A spaceship landing at this hour? Now, who could hold the presses? If that's the Krang outlaw ship, I've got a big story, really big, to hick with sleep. I'm going to investigate. Great star! Hey, come on, dear. You miserable, stinking slaves! We've got to have more carrium if we're going to get out of here. <laughs> oh, I was right. It is the Krang outlaws. They're using those poor slaves to mine carrium for them. The ship must be low on fuel. Oh, this is going to be a great story. I better call Brave Star, though. These crane look like real trouble. Yo, Brave Star here. This is McBride, Marshal. There's a crew of outlaw Krang in Stone Canyon. Oh, great. You sure they're Krang? I'm taking pictures right now. Wait, I'll patch in my holo camera. Yep, the ones with guns are Krang, all right. But who are the others? Slaves, I think. I heard... Oh. Angus, what happened? Angus, answer me. Come in, please. Brave Star! Hurry, big partner. McBride must have been nailed by the Krang. I'll alert JB. Judge JB here. It's your father, JB. I think he's been captured by some outlaw Krang in Stone Canyon. What? Oh, no. I'll meet you there. All right. And take it slow. We'll work this out. Brave Star out. JB out. Just ahead, big partner. I... Hold it. Mm, what is it? More crane? No, we're in luck. It's a star marine. Bracer, where's my father? And what's a star marine doing here? Probably after the Krang. I heard they broke out of a Star Marine prison. You're correct, Marshal. I'm Commander Kane of the Imperial Star Marines. And I'm here to take them back. Glad to see you, Commander. We were just going after the Krang ourselves. And we'd certainly appreciate any help you can give us. I think you misunderstand me. The Krang are my responsibility, and they're dangerous. They'll be giving me enough trouble without my having to babysit a couple of amateurs. Go home. Amateurs? Why, you overbearing dipswitch! How dare you! Easy, Judge. Uh, I appreciate your concern, Commander, but we fought the Krang before. We know what we're doing. Besides, the Krang had captured one of our citizens, the Judge's father, Angus McBride. Angus McBride? Then you must be JB. Why, yes, I, I am. Do you know my father? Know him? I'll say I do. Twenty years ago, I had to pull him out of a pirate prison on Alpha Centauri. Sounds like the old duffer hasn't changed a bit. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. Let's get him back. Oh, 
How feels your head, strange one? Feels like somebody's mining carrium in there. <sighs> but I'll be all right. Who are you folks now? We are Fufters. The Krang captured our colony ship in space and made us slaves. Now they force us to mine carrium for them. Well, that won't do. We'll have to escape. All of us. Uh, escape? Uh, oh, no. That would never do. Well, why in tarnation not? Well, it might lead to fighting. Darn tootin'! And we Fufters never fight. We might get hurt. We'll have all the... All right, you fuzzheads! Second shift! Back to work! Get moving! Come on, stand up to him. Fight back. You still got hands, so use them! Get out there and dig! I'm going to remember you. Get out there! It's the Krang, all right. Is my father down there? I'll check. Eyes of the Hawk! <laughs> He's there, all right. In there with the sheep people. Oh, yeah? How come you can see him and I can't? The Marshal has special abilities, please. How are we going to rescue my father? Mm, let's stomp him. <laughs> I like your animal, and he's got the right idea. But I'm going in alone. You three stay here. Since when are you giving orders? Since before you were born, young lady. Now, quiet. Listen, here's a plan. Listen, Elder, you outnumbered the Krang three to one. You foofters could free yourselves. No, we can't. No talking among the prisoners. I'm really starting to dislike that guy. What? You Krang are under arrest. Throw down your weapons and raise your hands. Oh, I hope they say no. Please say no. Please say no. No! <laughs> Thank you. We are under attack! Frost them! Not till the prisoners are safe. We're just supposed to distract them. Besides, the Krang are tough fighters. Come on, Elder. Now's our chance. Let's go. I can't. I'm frightened. All right, then. Boo! Ah! Time for me to join in. Blaster jets. <laughs> What? K Karen, what are you doing here? Same as always, rescuing you. Good to see you again, Angus. What happened to the legs? Running away from too many girls? <laughs> Fell over a cliff. Shall we get out of here, Karen? Let's do that. <laughs> the slaves are escaping! Stop them! The slaves! Time to join in. Strength of the bear! Oh, that's quite.
Mike DeMarcio. Aye, he is. He stopped the Krang for now. Yeah. Problem is, that's only half the battle. We still got to capture the Krang, and that's going to be the hard part. How's our carrium supply? Only just enough for our weapons, my leader. Not enough to launch our ship. No matter. Once we capture those meddlesome do-gooders, we'll have slaves enough to dig all the carrium we need. Tomorrow should be interesting. They're loading every weapon they have to a full charge. Mmm, well, I like a well-armed enemy. Makes the fight last longer. Why don't we go stomp them now? Crane can see in the dark. We can't. Better wait till morning for the fight. Uh, speaking of fights... I must say the judge don't look overly pleased with the way McBride's taken to uh, Commander Kane. But how about yourself, Karen? Aren't you married yet? Well, no. Guess I scare a lot of fellas away. Of course, none of them were right anyway. Thought I'd found the man I wanted to marry once, but it turned out you were married already. <laughs> Uh, not anymore, Karen. Uh, I've been a widower now for... Father, could I see you for a minute? Oh, why, certainly, darling. Uh, excuse me, Karen. Really, Father? What's wrong? What's wrong? You and that blaster-packing commander are making eyes at each other. That's what. Have you forgotten my mother? Your wife? I'll never forget Eileen, and no one's missed her more than I have. But it's been ten years and more, and even though you've been with me, a man gets lonely. It's been a very long time. Try to understand, my daughter. Oh, he's my father, not some... Person? Your father's a person too, JB. He has needs, just like everybody else. Try to understand. Oh, what do you know? You never had this problem. No, you're right. I haven't, because I never knew my parents. Oh, Brave Star, I didn't. All right, heads up, everybody. Sun's horizon. Let's go. Mm, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is it, Angus. Are you ready? One second. We could use all the help we can get. Sure your people won't join us. We can't. As you wish. But someday you'll realize that staying free isn't easy. Sometimes you have to fight. That's what I remember liking about you, Angus. The way you try to get people to help themselves. Oh, the way I see it. That's a newspaper man's job. Do we really need Commander Kane for this job? I think the question is, does she really need us? Yo, 
you're under arrest. <laughs> Save some for me! going anywhere but back to jail. Glad this suit's flameproof. Sure glad you were there. Thanks. Aw, oh, no thanks necessary. I'd do anything for this old duffer. I can see that. I think I'm beginning to understand. Well, guess I should be heading back with my prisoners. Uh, not just yet, Karen. I'd like to ask you something first. And thus, by the powers vested in me by the Galactic Council, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Angus. Karen. I'm so happy for you, father and mother. <laughs> I'll always cry at weddings. We learned a lesson about fear today. Yeah, especially our friends the Foofters. They found out that those crane creeps weren't as tough as they acted. It's true. Most of the time when the things we're scared of really happen, they're not as bad as we thought they'd be. Sometimes being afraid of something makes it look a lot bigger and scarier than it really is. Remember, everybody's afraid sometimes of something. Being afraid is nothing to be ashamed of. 